YouTube, how you doing? Raj here. Uh, I'm back with a fragrance review, this time on a fragrance from the house of Comme des Garçons, the quite famous uh, fashion brand. They have a quite a big collection of fragrances. This one is called Wonder Oud, not to be confused with Wonder Wood, which is a fragrance that came out a bit, a bit before this. This is pretty much the flanker of that one. Uh, Comme des Garçons, I don't think I've really mentioned them much on my channel, if at all. And they are really known for doing things a little bit different um, to normal mainstream designer fragrances. They have a lot of synthetic weird stuff. They have some interesting things. Uh, they have some okay fragrances also. It's not a house that I really love, but um, I always find myself going back to the counter to try um, a new con de Garçon fragrance. So this one, Wonder Oud. Um, I'm going to leave a link down below to their website so you can have a look at it, have a look at the bottle and, and read a bit more. Apparently this has 100% natural oud according to their website and it is apparently, well they say, extracted from resinous aquilaria trees grown sustainably in Southeast Asia. Okay, so if they say that I will believe them. Um, notes for this one, Texas cedarwood, uh, oud wood, Indonesian patchouli, Australian sandalwood, Haitian vetiver, Gayak wood, and pashminol, which uh, sounds like some sort of aroma chemical or something like that. I haven't really looked into it. So price for this 100 ml bottle is 80 pounds. Uh, where would you wear this? Or where? Actually, I'm going to start with when you would wear this because I think this is pretty much all year round. I could see you wearing this in 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 any season. Um, it feels quite versatile. It also feels quite versatile in terms of where you would wear this. This is a work time fragrance. This could be quite casual, going out for drinks. Um, again, it just feels really versatile to me. For me, I wore it in lots of different occasions. Wore this quite a few times to work actually. Um, performance. Well, projection and longevity are, I wouldn't say they're poor on me, but they're definitely not strong. After the first, after the opening half an hour, um, it does become closer to the skin and you might have to spray a lot or just settle for the fact that this is not going to be jumping off your skin. I got about six hours, a little bit more than that maybe. It wasn't the most noticeable fragrance and to be honest, the performance was a little bit disappointing. Maybe on your skin it might work for you. So, Wonder Oud, the original uh, Wonder Wood, was a very, very dry um, basket of woods, wood shavings, chip, chips, and all that kind of thing. Things, um, that's how I would describe it. This one is not too dissimilar, except for the opening. The opening of, the, of this fragrance is a little bit challenging, and if you're not used to this oud type of scent, you might be put off a little bit, but don't worry, it's nothing too animalic, it's nothing too skanky. It's actually quite measured and actually quite dry. But you do get this note, which is a little bit like a dark rotting wood. Um, it's a little bit mushroom-like, and it gives you a, a slight feeling, a slight peek into the world of what real oud can smell like. But it disappears, and maybe that's a good thing for you. Maybe that's a bad thing. Uh, this is not really a oud dominant fragrance. It's just one note amongst many other wood-based scents. So as the fragrance continues, and I've sprayed on some about, uh, I don't know, like 20 minutes ago. It's actually quite nice. I quite like it. It does have that kind of pencil shaving. It has that dry, woody feeling. Uh, it kind of has a freshness to it, actually, which I quite like, which for me gives it a more accessible feeling in terms of, you know, maybe you're not really into fragrances. You're a little bit unsure about what oud is. This could be a kind of like an entry level fragrance. Um, it's not nothing too scary. It does the the two things that came to my mind when I when I've worn this fragrance is it reminds me of like fresh linen, which has been like you know taken out and it's drying, but around it is all of this incense which has been um, soaked up into this wet fresh linen kind of uh, sheets. So it kind of has that freshness and it kind of has that dry incensey woody aroma, which actually is pretty good. Um, I think it does have a very masculine appeal to it. I can't really see a, a woman wearing this. I don't think it would be right. 
you know, there's tons of woods in here, cedar wood, sandalwood, oud wood. Um, but yeah, I think it's pretty good. It's quite smooth. I quite like it. It's fairly one dimensional, not a huge amount going on in development, not a huge, huge amount going on in terms of performance, which are probably the two main uh, criticisms I have of this fragrance. But overall, pretty pleasant. But for £80, I think I want a little bit more, if I'm perfectly honest. It's worth checking out. Um, maybe if you can get your hands on a discounted bottle, this could be a good fragrance. Um, there are many other fragrances out there which are much better than this. Many of them are cheaper and can be found in your normal uh, fragrance store with uh, you know all the designers and all the mainstream fragrances. Uh, this one... It's okay, it's a nice fragrance. I actually do have a little bit left in my sample. I've probably got about one wearing. I'll wear it, uh, definitely, but um, I'm definitely not gonna be buying this fragrance. My rating for this one, it's not great, it's not bad. It's kind of middle of the road. I'm gonna go with a seven out of 10. So guys, have you tried this fragrance? Let me know what you think. Always great to hear from you guys. Uh, well, you know, whatever you have to say, say it. Feel free to hit the like button, subscribe and um, check out some of my previous videos if you haven't done so already. I have been away for, I think I was, didn't do a video for like a month, so I've come out with a few recently. So thanks for watching, take care, bye.